Yo, what up guys, Beast Midday Vlogs here, and I'm back with another video. And today's video is going to be about just don't worry. God's in control. God's got this. God is good. And stuff like that. Before I get further into this video, I want to pray. Dear Lord Jesus, I just pray, Lord, that your word lead me in the video, that my word become your words, and that I don't focus on my desires, but I focus on your desires, and I say the right thing, that it be biblical, and I say comforting words, but also strong and bold words, and I pray for backslide to come home, and non-believers to come to you, and we come to you, Jesus' name, amen. Amen, y'all. So, for you guys that don't know, I recently... started liking coconuts and there was a coconut from a 99 cent store that tasted absolutely amazing so you know what i'm gonna get me another coconut i was at albertson and i got me this coconut right and i was like man this is gonna taste good i mean smell good i mean it tastes good right go figure it tasted like dog poop and I had to realize there's probably different types of coconuts, right? And these coconuts are probably not the one that tastes great. But the coconuts I got from the dollar or the dining cent store are great. But my point I'm trying to make here is that are you going to drink from the well of the enemy? Right? Drink the nastiness of this world? Or are you going to drink the purifying water of Jesus Christ? Might be a weird example for you guys, but is there biblical terms with saying come to the well? The lady went to the well, so there's biblical aspects to this, right? And the reason why I wanted to use this nasty tasting coconut as an example is because the world is nasty and a lot of people keep drinking it, right? You know what I mean? And I think this smells like coconut oil. I don't think about it. But we keep drinking the nasty things of this world and... We're not drinking the things of Jesus, or we're not ingesting the things of Jesus, or and stuff like that. And we have to continue to get in God's presence, no matter who wins the election, no matter who the Supreme Court, no matter who our mayor is, no matter what happens in the economical world, no matter what happens with my family, no matter what happens with my friend, no matter what happens in school, Jesus is still in control. Jesus is still king. But I will say this, continue to pray up for our election, continue to pray up for Donald Trump, because there is fraud stuff going on, it's very clear. And a lot of prophets that I prophesied said Trump's going to win. And I felt that in my spirit, which I'm not calling myself a prophet, because I'm just not going to call myself that. But what I... um. I thought in my spirit, you know what, Trump's going to win. I felt that, and I knew what God told me and revealed. But if I happen to get this wrong, right, if I was like, that wasn't from you, Lord, forgive me, and I'm going to step up to the plate on that. Because the Lord has told me other things that have come to pass that you can look at the videos for yourself. But I'm going to say this, like, no matter who's in who wins the president, God is still in control. I believe Trump's going to win. I affirm wholeheartedly believe that in my heart. I really do. But this video is going to be about, don't worry, God's in control. There is witches who are casting spells on Trump, who don't want him to win, who are bounding him. And as Christians, if we see that, we got to come and pray against that. Because our water is going to, our, our anointing is going to overflow no matter who wins. And it's going to be so great. But we definitely have to pray against those witches who are trying to cast spells on Trump, who are trying to bound him, who are trying to have him not win the election because they are doing that. And I believe as Christians, God is allowing this to happen, win or lose, to wake the Christians up, to wake them up. I believe Trump goes to the Supreme Court. I think in the end, he's going to win. But if he does not, God's still in control. And a lot of the prophets that I prophesied, like Clem Clemente, who's gotten every single prophecy right. Look at his record. Look at his record. He's gotten everything right that God told him. 
that he said God that God said it was going to happen, and he said that God told him that, and it has come to happen. So if this doesn't happen, that's going to be insane. But that doesn't mean these people were false prophets. So I just want to put that out there. Also, too, I remember him prophesying that the enemy would do all he can to get a witch in the White House. Lady Gaga sponsored Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. I don't know if Kamala Harris is a witch, but Lady Gaga, who's a high-ranking witch, sponsored him. And a witch in the White House. So let that sink in. I'm not saying Lady Gaga is that witch that he prophesied. But she's definitely a demonic witch influence that is going to influence people. So, Clint Kamala today prophesied this enemy to try to get a witch in the White House. I don't know if Kamala Harris is involved in witchcraft and stuff like that. But I do know that Lady Gaga is a high-ranking witch. And she's been sponsoring Biden. A lot of witches have been trying to bound Trump. So, let that sink in. As Christians, we're more powerful than any of those witches in Jesus' name. They get casted out. They're defeated. We know Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. So it's just up to us as believers to pray, pray, pray. And let's say Joe Biden does get in there and the most corrupt thing in the U.S. election history, pray for Joe Biden. Pray that he does great in his presidency because we don't want the nation to fall. But what God's will be done, God's will be done no matter what. If Biden gets in there, political persecution is coming. Is the church ready for that? I hope so. I know for me individually, I've been preparing in the spirit. But I feel like for those things, when it comes, it comes, you know, and you got to continue to pre prepare, prepare, and prepare. So to yourself to be assured. Um, do all of the things that God has told you to do. Read his word. Get in his presence. Remember, I got a, a vision or something on my heart from God, whatever you want to call it. On June 12th, 13th, or 14th, or even 15th, somewhere around no June, like mid-June, right? And God told me November will be the month that spiritual battle, spiritual battle climaxes, right? Our spiritual battles go always going on. But I know what he told me. It's going to be the highest. I guess. That's where it's going to be the highest climax for this year, right? And um, I, I, I'm not sure if you're paying attention to people on YouTube. Marcus Rogers said heavy spiritual going on right now. And then Jeremiah, Jeremiah Johnson said a lot of spiritual stuff going on right now. So God told me this stuff would come in November. I didn't know quite what he meant by that in November. Besides the spiritual battle being climaxed or the highest that it would be in 2020. So now that I see all the witches trying to get Trump in there. They're praying for a blue wave and their pendulum. Whatever that stuff is. We got to come against that in Jesus name. They're probably coming for supporters too. They're coming against Christians. So we can't be off guard. We can't be weak. If they're praying to their like witches and to Satan. And they're praying for their victory. We got to pray to Jesus Christ for our victory. In Jesus name. Because Christ has a victory no matter <clears throat> who the president is. But if there is corruption going on. If there is a lot of witchcraft going on through this. Which there is. <clears throat> we got to come against it. We have to. To come <clears throat> against it. In Jesus name. That's where I stand. Because. Um, God is good no matter what. But we don't have to worry. We don't have to fear. We don't have to worry about any of that. Christ is in control. Christ is in control. Stand firm. Keep faith in God. Do what he called you to do. Do read its word, pray, and don't freak out. When I say uh, don't worry, you're, you know, be comfortable in the Holy Spirit. Um, find comfort in Jesus. I'm saying let him, let his soul bring you peace in your Holy Spirit and your soul, right? And I'm, when I'm not, when I'm saying be comfortable, I'm not saying being comfortable in terms of laxadacious and. Not growing in the Lord, not being aware of what's going on. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is be comfortable in the spirit. 
but also prepare for things are coming. They are coming. And the question is, are you ready? That's the question. Are you ready? If Jesus came right now for a church, are you ready? If Jesus comes tomorrow, are you ready? If Jesus said, go move to that place, are you ready? If Jesus said, go pray for that person, would you be ready? If Jesus said, go preach, would you be ready? What I mean by that, are you spiritually letting the Lord lead you so you can be ready? We can't be ready on our own strength. We can only be ready by the Lord's strength. For me, I've grown a lot in the Lord this year. Just reading his word, you know, I read all the Acts, and I read Colossians, and I'm now reading through Revelations, you know. I haven't read all the Bible. I've read, like, bits and pieces of, like, each Bible story, but not the whole Bible in general. The reason why I went to Revelation, the Lord put it in my heart to go through Revelations, and I read it, I take notes. I, I had dwell with the Lord's telling me through the, His Word and His Bible and through what He's trying to tell me in the Spirit. I'm trying to grow in knowledge and in truth, or in Spirit and in truth. My bad. That's what I meant to say. Because the truth is God's Word. That's what the truth is. That Jesus is the only way to heaven. That He's coming back soon. That He died on the cross for all of our sins. In Jesus' name, you know. That's what He did. For us on the cross. So we have to accept that. In Jesus name. His word is a word. We also got to grow in the spirit. Because if you're growing in the spirit. You're not going to worry what's going on in the world. Because Jesus is in control. And he's got us. And I love you guys. My girlfriend's calling me so I'm going to call her back. But I just don't worry y'all. Trust Jesus. But pray for what's going on right now. He loves you right. Have a great day in Jesus name.